Monica Wright, the Cosmic Cupcake, with this week's forecast for July 20th through the 27th. Uh, void of Chorus Moons. We'll skip the one for today because I'm doing this late. I had some Jehovah's Witnesses come to the door earlier, and they got the dogs going crazy. So I had to cancel the report I was doing, and uh, I didn't have time to redo it till now. So it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon now. So anyways, we had one this morning, and then the moon went into Aries, where it is right now. And it's going to stay there until Friday at 5.34 p.m. until Saturday at 12.58 a.m. and then it's going to move into nice grounded Taurus and then finally on Monday at 9 12 a.m. to 12 34 p.m. it will be void and then it will move into uh, gregarious Gemini mental Gemini so think think thinking time um, so here's the biggest astro news this week really is another one of those kind of mellow weeks for us um, but the Sun is going to uh, make its entry annual entry into Leo so let's talk about Leo's Leo's are wonderful it's the sign that's ruled by the Sun and it's obviously a fire sign and it's a fixed sign so um, and that's just what it implies I mean imagine trying to move one of those lions you've seen in on TV you know in the desert trying to get them to move yeah fixed is right so um, anyways they're very courageous and they say they're lion-hearted um, creative ambitious strong loving sensitive um, on the good side and on the flip side now there's always a flip side right they can be very vain dictatorial um, a little bit too trusting uh, self-centered and a bit intolerant well sometimes a a lot intolerant so depending on how things are set up in their charts but generally their philosophy if you know a Leo is hey life is fun let's play yay um, we love Leo's Leo rules the fifth house in which is uh, rules children gambling short-term love affairs and wherever Leo energy falls in your chart it's the area where you're generally the most enthusiastic um, you'll do things in a big way and really put all your heart and soul into anything you do in, in those areas so Leo rules the heart, by the way, and uh, if uh, if they do have uh, physical ailments, it will generally be in the heart area or um, in the back, believe it or not. Um, and uh, with these guys now, flattery goes a long way. If you know any Leos, they just love it. And they love to be the center of attention. Um, most people don't mind that, though, because most Leos are incredibly charismatic entertainers, and even if they're not famous. So um, their hair is their mane. If you know any Leos, generally they will be very, very conscious of their hair. They take a lot of pride in it. So um, here's some famous Leos and some of them have the hair thing going on that you, you might equate them with their hair um, Jackie Kennedy is a Leo was Leo Mick Jagger Arnold Schwarzenegger Sally Struthers she had the big long blonde hair uh, Dorothy Hamill who was known for her haircut all the girls wanted the, that that little haircut that she had I didn't like it but um, Lucille Ball known for her fiery red hair Whitney Houston Carl Young okay maybe he didn't have hair but he was famous Leo um, Andy Warhol Coco Chanel Kenny Rogers has a big Thick. He's still got a lot of hair, gray as it is. It's a lot. Bill Clinton um, and our current president, Barack Obama, are both Leos. And so you can see where they went wrong, too. Uh, <laughs> and so, um, anyways, there's the good and the bad side of Leos. Um, and also, my husband, David, is a wonderful Leo, and he is just the best. We love him. So, uh, tons of Leos in the spotlight. As I said, they were just born entertainers. So, other than this shift heralding the uh, height of summer this week, it's a little quiet, like I that's it. So um, here's your focus uh, statement and uh, stellar days for this week by sign. Aries, that new heartthrob you meet on Friday is going to lose its thrill by Sunday. So uh, Friday's really your stellar day. Just don't go overboard, okay? Taurus, go at your own pace until things become clearer next week. Family is your focus. It should be your focus this week. So Wednesday totally rocks for you. Cancer, you can finally see how much you have to be grateful for. Yay! Friday reveals all your blessings. Things. So make sure you give thanks. Um, Leo, oh Cancer, I'm uh, sorry, Leo, this is your week. <laughs> Friday gets you glowing um, and just put your best foot forward because remember everybody is watching you now. You are in the spotlight. Um, Virgo, a bit of patience goes a very long way this week, just a little bit. So Sunday is lovely for you. Um, Scorpio, Oh, Libra, you're, uh, you're feeling sociable. I'm sorry, I keep skipping these. Um, <laughs> a little ADD today. Well, see, I'll talk about that in a minute. Why? Um, Libra, you're feeling sociable again, and Saturday is going to be your stellar day. Scorpio, like Gemini, stay focused and clear up old business. Sunday is going to be your stellar day. 
Sagittarius, physical energy improves for you. And uh, Friday is going to kick off an awesome week. You have uh, hopefully a nice little trine from that Leo sun. So Capricorn, your confidence is going to get raised a little bit this week. You'll, have, you'll be feeling a little bit better. So make sure you spoil yourself on Saturday. That's your stellar day. Uh, Aquarius, there we go. Forgive and let go is your focus for this week. And Monday is going to be your stellar day. Pisces, sun in conjunct Neptune is going to make this uh, a week for you to really just take your time. Um, can really affect you. In, in, as far as putting you out there in la la land so like Taurus just be just uh, kind of go at your own pace and Friday is going to be beautiful for you so uh, final reminder and this is what I was talking about the uh, mouth is disengaging here Mercury retrograde alert yes we're in the storm this week it's called the storm so it's Mercury is just about slowed down to a crawl and uh, next week it's going to go retrograde officially so uh, we want to make sure that we double check plans leave plenty of time to get to to uh, any appointments that we have for you know going forward now until this comes out of it I'll talk more about the mercury retrograde next week but this is just a little heads up a lot of people get caught short because they think it's only going to happen on the date that they call the day mercury goes retrograde and it's really about a week before and a week after it comes out of retrograde so um, sometimes a little bit longer so I will keep you informed uh, anyways uh, as always if you want to know how all of this energy impacts your personal charts you can contact me through my website astrogirl12.com very simple astrogirl12 Dot com. And uh, you can also friend me on Facebook, and my name there is Astro Girl Susie, and that's S U Z I E. Go to that page, please, and um, friend me. Love lots of friends. So um, that's it for this week. I hope you all uh, have a sweet and delicious week. And this is Susie Kerr Wright, the Cosmic Cupcake, wishing you all a great one. Bye.